Let's see if I fit one of these damn descriptions since y'all so damn smart and know everything about me and know that I'm acoustic and shit. Valentine's Day has to be one of the most extraneous and trifling holidays of all time. We obviously know this holiday was fabricated to get people to blow more money than an EA user, but the general public damn. still chooses to indulge in this spurious holiday. I don't know about y'all, but Valentine's Day has always been a day that I've abominated, whether I've been single or in a relationship. Forget the candy, forget oh. the flowers. So yeah, he got cheated on. I'm sorry, bro. Girls take that shit to heart. If you don't, if you don't give them anything for Valentine's Day, they already think about a new nigga. You don't get them shit. Yeah, they are already on to the next, bro. GGS. Get the candy, forget the flowers. Sorry, toots. I'm married to the grind. If love is in the air, then I'm asthmatic. But in all seriousness, oh. Valentine's Day tends to either bring out the amiability out of people or the revulsion. So today. We'll be discussing some of the different type of people on Valentine's Day, as well as some of their tendencies and inclinations. Okay. Comment down below the type of person you are on Valentine's Day, and like and subscribe if you're new. I think we're all familiar with simps, they need no introduction. But on Valentine's Day, these motherfuckers get an iOS update or something because it gets taken to another level like they're playing Angry Birds. These niggas will you know spend all type of currency trying to impress their crush who doesn't even know they exist. See, it's different when you got a crush that don't know you exist. But if you like, you got a girl and you want to spend a couple of honey on your girl so she can feel special for one day, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's your woman. I'd rather spend money one day out the year than every day out the year. You feel me? Because all they care about is posting that shit on Instagram and showing their little stories. Look what my man got me. Nah, 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 nah. And I don't understand why bitches be so sad on Valentine's Day when they don't get shit. When they don't get shit throughout the whole year. The fuck you expect? These niggas will spend all type of currency trying to impress their crush who doesn't even know they exist. These niggas will show up to a girl's door with more chocolate than Willy Wonka and start pouring their heart out like fucking Edgar Allan Poe. Only to get turned down quicker <laughs> than the average Ivy League actor. Applicant, bro. They think by Damn. getting on their hands and knees like some kind of barmy animal, they'll be able to convince somebody to be their valentine. I once seen a dude in the hallway telling a girl who do her homework in exchange for being his valentine. When I tell you my eyes Sick. popped on my head like a fucking cuckoo clock, I was in the hallway looking like Bobby Portis, bro. I was entirely discomposed by what I was hearing. To be fair, the nigga had a face only a mother could love. Like Buddy Deadass looked like the Mucinex booger. But I digress. That's still inexcusable behavior nevertheless. Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure we've all caught feelings or whatever. But when you know the feeling isn't mutual, just take your L and move on. But some of these niggas take this shit too literal because they shoot- the thing is though, if it's not mutual now, it could be mutual in the future. I can hear them out. I can hear them out. It's been times where like, you know, shorties then turned me down in high school. After high school, we in college. Now they want to give me a chance. Women, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, they don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. They get heartbroken enough. They're going to climb down the ladder each time and try different things. Them popular girls in school, they talk to the popular niggas. Them niggas don't be doing shit. They find out a little bit too late in life. They didn't want to fuck with the good guys. Like all of you chat. I know y'all are great people, but like the woman, they not gonna really look at us bro because we not mm, we're not on a sports team but we making more money than a sports team <laughs> Woo! feeling is mutual. just take your l and move on but some of these niggas take this shit too literal because they shoot more shots than jordan Poole and often end up with the same results as him too now we gotta <laughs> talk about the braggers who constantly get spoiled with gifts these are the individuals who constantly bring up what their significant other got them on valentine's day when not a soul on god's green earth asked or the I people told who consistently remind people that they're taking on valentine's day i've been in rooms with grown ass <laughs> adults who sit and blabber their gums up and down for hours like they're giving a class presentation about what their boyfriend or girlfriend got them and then they i told y'all about this on every single platform on the internet talking about nobody hit me up i'm taking my nigga we had no interest or engrossment and i'm pretty sure we're all familiar <laughs> with that one girl who prowls the hallway every february 14th with eight different gifts from guys in her hands me personally i couldn't envision myself buying a girl a gift who's getting a thomas the tank engine level train ran on her but to oh my goodness he did not have to say that that was kind of far jesus christ good lord. good lord i don't think i've ever bought a girl anything for valentine's day that wasn't my girl i don't think i've ever done that even at school i was with somebody so I didn't have that problem. But to each their own, I guess. You're confessing your love to someone who's getting their cheeks turned into a filet of fish But I mean, they would legit pull up to class with those big ass stuffed teddy bears and more balloons than Pennywise talking about, look at what my man got me. My nigga, which one? You got a gift from an <laughs> NFL roster worth of people. Maybe it's just because oh. I'm not a materialistic person, but this shit was always so corny to me, bro. And I don't know about y'all, but our schools had these candy gram things that you could buy and get yeah. delivered to people. And every year that one girl would have her desk covered with them. Meanwhile, all the guys are sitting there with our thoughts, prayers, and cobwebs on our desk. This is why we need to bring back the times where everybody brought cards for the class nobody was left yeah. out now we gotta talk yeah. about the lovey dovey the crazy thing is everybody want to be all included oh my gosh we're so inclusive now inclusive this inclusive that what happened to these times when everybody was really including for like the past five years i ain't get shit for valentine's day i don't feel included at all man even in school i ain't get shit bro shit. <laughs> I don't get no pussy. I don't get no pussy, nigga. I fucking suck. We gotta talk about the lovey-dovey, over-the-top, 
wherefore art thou Romeo couples, bro? I swear, I don't have a single bone of hatred in my body, but people like this on why Valentine's Day gets such a bad rep, bro. First of all, there's the hallway hornballs. These uh, motherfuckers act like they haven't been in contact with each other in a couple of decades, bro. Like, holy sh get a room or something. Calling each other the most <laughs> obscene and rebarbative names underneath the sun. I love you, my smoochums. No, I love you more, my little snookamookums. Lord have mercy, my stomach starts sounding like it's got extra reverb on it. The amount of people that would be pinned up against the locker's sucking face was incalculable. I guess these niggas' hormones were fuming beyond belief. You would have thought these motherfuckers were extras in the Fifty Shades of Grey franchise, bro. In order to get me started never seen on the it. stairway sleazes. All I'm trying to do is get to class and I'm halted by two motherfuckers looking like they're playing Twister on the stairs. I don't know what type of exhaustion huh? you gotta be on to try and repopulate in the school stairway, but it's gotta be something crazy. And then these- Y'all was fucking the hallways, chat? Y'all was fucking the hallways? Don't let me find out. Y'all was some hallway demons. I ain't know y'all had it like that, chat. Populating the school stairway, but it's gotta be something crazy. And then these indefatigable individuals insist on not only tarnishing my existence IRL, but also on social media. We all know that one couple has to post every 15 seconds about what they're doing. Making it seem <laughs> like they got this Cosmo and Wanda-ass relationship. And they always break up, bro. They always break up. The ones that's posting the most on social media always break up, bro. Keep that in mind. So if y'all see a girl and she like posting a nigga a lot and y'all like damn bro they must be happy just wait your turn bro <laughs> just wait your turn your time is coming making it seem like they got this cosmo and wanda ass relationship but behind closed doors they're more like muriel and eustace bro and i find it very ironic how they'll post these shakespearean Bingo. ass essays and manuscripts about how much love they have for this person just for them to be posted up with someone else two weeks later talking about i can never Bingo. see myself with someone else my nigga you must have found your glasses in because you're posted up with a new nigga at the blink of an eye you would have thought they were a youtube couple the way they would break up and get back together bro now we gotta talk about the people who are single he ain't lying. Don't look so down, bro. Join the club. We got snacks on the counter. But in all seriousness, it's nothing wrong with being single or not having a Valentine. I can't even blame y'all because trying to find actual love in 2024 is like trying to find a black Celtics fan. Valentine's Day is just another day for us, for real. We just go about our business and call it a day. I personally don't mind waking up to see that my only notification is for my lack of storage. But then there's the niggas Damn. who try and manufacture the most prodigious falsehoods possible, bro. Talking about, yeah, bro, I got this one brought out in Atlanta. She fine as hell. Bro, we're too damn old to be lying about shit like this. Just say you're single and keep it pushing. <laughs> but being single on Valentine's Day is really depending on your mindset if you're really beating yourself up like patrick because you don't have a valentine then it's gonna be doomsday for you but if you ignore all the bullshit then you should be a-okay besides look on the bright side we don't gotta worry about spending money on no dumbass teddy bears True. we can instead spend our money on that discount candy the day after valentine's i hate being around those people who are so negative and despondent whenever they're not in a relationship it's like these niggas can't function without dating somebody bro it's like some oh, fake ass oh my gosh he is like hitting all the points bro he's hitting every single point i know a lot of people that cannot function without a significant other they need to be in a relationship without fun like they cannot function without another person in their life on that type of level and i find that so weird i pray for y'all because y'all future is not looking too good you're dependent you're a fucking dependent you're dependent on human interaction and that's only going to end up in bad situations bro it's like these niggas can't function without dating somebody bro it's like some fake symbiotic relationship or something they just spend their day ejecting more tears than dw now we gotta talk about the people who hate valentine's day remember the single people i was just talking about will pretty mm -hmm. much just take them and add some chemical x these are pretty much the single people who join the dark what side the these vitriolic motherfuckers go around spreading more hate than uncle ruckus bro like they'll see a random ass couple out in public and start trying to bash them for absolutely no reason at all bro but they hate anything that has to do with love like who the fuck are you squidward speaking of which have y'all seen those videos where they ask couples to switch their phones i'm pretty sure some of them are scripted and whatnot but that's they still are. some godful behavior bro these niggas are actually trying to end more relationships than usher bro usher how are you on a cartoon taking people wives and doing that shit in real life Somebody need to put their hands on Usher, little sexy ass. Somebody need to put their fucking hands on his little brown ass. These niggas are actually trying to end more relationships than Usher, bro. And in doing my research for this video, I recently came across the fuck Valentine's trend that was popularized by none other than our favorite app, TikTok, of course. It pretty much consists of someone, usually in a Walmart, stating that they don't care about chocolate and flowers and all the other cliche Valentine's Day products, and then proceed to go on a rampage and knock everything off the shelves like a discourteous cat. As a former Walmart employee, I would be livid if I saw some dumb ass kid doing some shit like this. Let me go into aisle B12 and see that look like Aang came through that motherfucker. Them little niggas <laughs> are getting sent to a King Von meet and greet. But the most imbecilic thing that witness as a result of this challenge was catastrophic apparently ghost rider decided to join in on the fun because there was an entire walmart aisle on fire there's no way someone oh has that gosh. much to for a holiday the shit people would do for clicks and likes will never stack me bro <laughs> it's only one day who overspend on valentine's day they dead be treating this holiday like a lovely christmas bro seeing how much debt they can put themselves in and like i said earlier nowadays people be changing relationships as often as i change clothes so they'll literally blow hundreds of dollars on valentine's day just to break up with someone a couple weeks later i'd be 
It's a sick world, bro. This is a, it's a sick world because there's no cap in this. I don't understand Valentine's Day, bro. I might be a Valentine's Day hater. I might be, but I'm going to show up and show out every single time. It's only because I know people care about this damn holiday so much. But me personally, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about no holiday. Maybe I'm just a heartbroken person. Maybe I'm just a bitter bitch. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the fucking problem. I might be, but I admit that shit. I am a bitter bitch. I haven't got nothing for Christmas or Valentine's day on my birthday for the last three to five years i'm salty now what but guess what i'm gonna buy myself whatever the fuck i want because i'm a bad bitch fuck is you talking about I be seeing people get their significant other Gucci bags, Prada purses, a diamond necklace, and a new iPhone. And then they'll Never. go out to some five star Gordon Ramsay, fettuccine, linguine ass restaurant, and drain their pockets like a kitchen sink. Who the mm. f takes out a loan for Valentine's Day, bro? These niggas' relationships be built on more money than the Bank of America Corporation, bro. They literally compete on who can spend the most money like some kind of deviant contest. Don't try to compete with a nigga like me. So I'm, gonna run, I'm gonna run my fucking pockets up. I feel like you trying to like outdo me in front of my bitch. We're going banned for fucking ban in this fucking restaurant, nigga. And I'm buying all the drinks because now you now i thought you trying to test my gangster don't do this with me bro yo ass gonna be in debt while i'm paying for credit you better stop fucking playing with me while i'm over here falling to my knees when i need to buy eggs and milk but in all seriousness love doesn't have a price and you don't need six figures to have a good time i'm enervated from hearing people complain that they didn't get anything for valentine's day all i got for valentine's day was a happy wednesday but we gonna keep thugging it out can we also talk about the people who claim they don't need a man or woman now i'm not saying that everybody needs to be in a relationship or pursuing one i'm more so scrutinizing the people who treat the opposite gender like some kind of sullied plague or something the whole all Twitter are trash or all women or thoughts is such a half-witted concept to me, bro. And on Valentine's Day, it constantly feels like these type of people are coming out the woodworks. They're usually people who got done dirty by an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, and now they seek vengeance against everybody of that same gender. I feel like social media has rotted the average human's brain more than some fungus. Yeah, I said that. Love and relationships is what gets people riled up more than some energy drinks. Hence why people are constantly talking about Blueface and Chris Rock. Moral of the story: Every human's <laughs> up regardless of the gender, and we should all put our problems to the side and sing Kumbaya amongst the campfire. But in conclusion, Valentine's Day is unbearable whether you're single or taken as long as you're not drawing faces on your hands then we should be cool and if you are in a relationship you should love that person every day valentine's or not everything he said was true bro i have no problem with nothing he said